Good evening. A graphic video from an animal rights group has led to an apology from the CEO of Cook Aquaculture. Yeah, the video shows staff at a Cook-owned salmon farm in Maine stomping and smashing the fish. It also shows what the group says are deformed and diseased salmon at the hatchery. Preston Mulligan has tonight's top story and a warning some viewers may find the video disturbing. A member of the animal rights group Compassion Over Killing shot this footage at Cook Aquaculture's fish farm in Bingham, Maine. The group says one of its members applied for a job there and was hired, then with a hidden camera shot this footage from January to April of this year. If the fish aren't fed enough, they'll actually think the little pupil of the other fish is food and they'll come after it and they'll peck the eye out. The animal advocacy group alleges some of the salmon at the hatchery suffer from fungal infections and spinal deformities that they're improperly anesthetized before being injected with vaccines. Vaccinate stresses them out. Takes a stole and some of them will die off. So once you vaccinate them, it takes them like a week before they start eating again. Cook Aquaculture has salmon farming operations on four continents, including on the East Coast. It's currently applying to expand its operation near Liverpool, Nova Scotia. Cook Aquaculture CEO Glenn Cook released a statement saying he's sorry and disappointed after reviewing the footage issued today by the activist veganism organization. It appears that unacceptable fish handling incidents have occurred at the Bingham Hatchery. Glenn Cook, the CEO of the company, within minutes of watching the video, issued a statement that went global. He is very upset about this. The family is not happy. The acts that the employees took are intolerable. They have been told to change their practices. We have implemented everything we can to fix it. They like to throw the workers under the bus, and they will uh, use buzzwords like retraining or they'll fire the workers. And at the end of the day, that really has no impact or bearing on the animals who are there living it every single day. The group complained to the state of Maine about what it saw at the fish farm. That state's Department of Agriculture is now investigating a complaint related to activities there. Preston Mulligan, CBC News, Halifax.